When Hideyoshi dies in 1598, his heir to his position is his five-year-old son named Toyotomi Hideyori. Since his son is only five years old, Hideyoshi arranges for five senior ministers to share the role of regent for his son. The first man is Ukita Hideie. The second, Maeda Toshie. The third, Uesugi Kagikatsu. And the fourth, Mori Terumoto. And then the fifth, a man named Tokugawa Ieyasu. As part of their agreement to act as regent, all five men have to swear by Hideyori until he reaches adulthood and can inherit his position. But immediately after Hideyoshi's death, all five men come into conflict, each seeking power above the other. But among them, Tokugawa Ieyasu is unrivaled. He's of higher rank, higher seniority, higher reputation, influence, and recognition. This gives him the ability to marry off his daughters to powerful daimyo and form political alliances that make the other four men nervous. Eventually, it leads to animosity. It's after the death of Regent Maeda Toshie, who had been keeping the peace, that things come to a head. Regent Uesugi Kagikatsu finally has enough of Tokugawa Ieyasu's consolidation of power and plans to fight against him on behalf of the Toyotomi family and their heir, Hideyori. Regents Ukita Hideie and Mori Terumoto stand behind him. So Tokugawa Ieyasu gathers his allies and resolves to fight back. This will culminate in a decisive battle known as the Battle of Sekigahara. So the day is October 20, 1600. Supporters of the Toyotomi clan make up the Western Army, led by Ishida Mitsunari, one of Hideyoshi's top generals. They start their march from Osaka Castle, and through the rains, settle eventually at Sekigahara, where they are able to ready their defenses. Tokugawa, hearing of Mitsunari's advances, gathers his allies and march from Edo. They form the Eastern Army. They also march down towards Sekigahara. But that morning, the field is covered in a dense fog from the day's rain. The two armies accidentally collide, causing panic on both sides, and they all withdraw. By 8 a.m., the fog finally clears, the two sides can see one another, and the battle begins. The fight is fought through mud and wet grass. It becomes something almost primal. But in the end, the Eastern Army, the army of Tokugawa Ieyasu, comes out victorious, and the Western Army disintegrates. In the aftermath, Ishida Mitsunari is executed, Ukita Hideie is exiled, and Mori Terumoto, who had been defending Hideyori at Osaka Castle, peacefully surrenders. As a result, Tokugawa Ieyasu redistributes the land of all who participated, rewarding those who fought on his side and displacing those who fought against him. It takes him three more years to consolidate his power. But finally, in 1603, Tokugawa Ieyasu achieves what Toyotomi Hideyoshi spent all the final years of his life trying to achieve, but couldn't. He's declared shogun by the emperor. The first official shogun since the fall of the Ashikaga shogunate 27 years prior. In our next and final video, we will talk about what all of this means for the surviving members of the Toyotomi family, including Toyotomi Hideyori.